This is Beyond the Big Screen Podcast with your host, Steve Guerra. Here is another Beyond the Big Screen teaser for episodes coming soon. I hope you enjoy and definitely tune in for the full episodes. If you want to learn more, you can head over to beyondthebigscreen.com. You can support Beyond the Big Screen on Patreon and Subscribestar. By joining on Patreon and or Subscribestar, you can help keep Beyond the Big Screen going and get many great benefits. Benefits include advertisement-free content, bonus content, and early access. The bonus content is great, too. I will feature outtakes from episodes and live streaming episodes. If you join at the executive producer level, you will become just that, an executive producer of Beyond the Big Screen. You will be able to develop ideas for upcoming episodes, help find great guests, and of course have your name mentioned at the beginning or end of each episode. You won't just be a supporter, you will be a critical member of the team. Go over to patreon.com forward slash beyond the big screen or subscribestar.com forward slash beyond the big screen to learn more. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, send me an email to my email address, steve at a2zhistorypage.com or follow us on social media by searching for A2Z History. I will see you next time beyond the big screen. And he handled that with laissez-faire conservative. Uh, and he's, he's the last administration that handled the depression with, uh, with laissez-faire or hands-off methods. In other words, conservative method. Now, when something happens, every time there's a downturn, what do we get? Uh, the government steps in and, and we got to stimulate the economy with spending and we got to increase our welfare programs and our employment and those kind of things. There was no, no, no concept of that. This is before the New Deal. Uh, so he handled it the way they'd always handled oppressions, which is with conservatism. So he comes in. He's got to remember what had happened during the war. Uh, before 1913, we didn't have an income tax in this country, except a little bit in the Civil War, with Civil War tax. They tried it in 1894, uh, but the Supreme Court struck it down as unconstitutional. But you get the 16th Amendment. And in 1913, you get an income tax, which is not bad at all. You had to you had to make, in our equivalency, somewhere around eighty dollars to $100,000 a year in, in our money today to pay 1%. The Rockefellers and the Carnegies would have paid about 7% at the top. Uh, by 1918, the top rate was 77%. Right. Everybody was, it was uh, tremendous. So hard income and, and the spending had gone through the roof. Our, our, our budget in 1916 was about $714 million in spending. 1918, 1919, it, it shoots up to almost $20 billion in spending. For the- I thought the recruiting scene was good. It was, and, and the training was good. They really did. A lot of the stuff they showed them doing, they really did. They learned martial arts. They learned knife fighting. They learned how to hike like 25, 50 miles in one day with almost no food or water. They, Carlson was determined to make this the absolute toughest unit in the entire U.S. Armed Services. That's what I think that they really, that they really nailed is that Carlson was not running this. And it came through in the movie as well that he was not running it as a classical – Marine or what you would archetypally think is a Marine operation where they're, you know, always at attention and they're everything on their uniforms. Perfect. Like that was not what he was going for. Yeah, that's right. He, he, that, and they did a great job in the movie on this. Carlson said, I'm going to make things much more democratic. There's not going to be all this saluting and there's not going to be all this emphasis on rank. I mean, there is, they do have to follow his orders and whatnot, but but he would discuss the plan with people. Like he'd get together with all of his men, not just the officers. Everybody was equal you know, to a certain degree, as much as you can in the Marines. And he would say, well, what do you think of this idea? We're going to go up this hill. We're going to flank. This unit will go around this side. This unit will go. He would tell people the plan and solicit input.